Being in a relationship with narcissists is a lot like prostitution. Narcissistic people can make a prostitute out of you, whether you like it or not. Now, a lot of times people think of prostitution as a person standing in a window with a red light on. Some people think of prostitution as a person standing on a corner, waiting to get picked up and then drop back off. However, many of you have been involved and engaged with the narcissistic person who's been picking you up and dropping you off every week for the past five years. And it gets to the point where you realize what's going on. You do feel like you're being treated like a prostitute, yet it's so painful because you never thought that you would be engaged in a relationship like this that oftentimes you stay. You stay simply so you can try to prove yourself wrong. That no, it could be better. It's not going to be better. It's time to stop being a prostitute for a narcissist. Let's talk about this. My name is Kevin and this is The Royal We. Now before I continue, I wanna let you know that I'm here for your support. Down in the description box, you'll find access for one-on-one -on -one appointments with me. In addition to that, I have a brand new life coaching program. For those of you who are feeling lost and confused coming out of an abusive relationship, I teach every day, Monday through Friday, live with questions and answers. It's only $49 for an entire month. You cannot afford to miss out on it. It doesn't matter when you get started during the month, just get down there and get started, all right? Now, it's very common when you're dealing with narcissistic people, and I hear it all the time, they start by love bombing you, they get into your life, they weasel their way into your life, and then things seem exciting and fun, but then they push you away. And when they push you away, it's often in the form of some kind of fight. And by the way, the fight is your fault. And I hear this time and time again as well, that when they push you away and tell you that's your fault, well then they punish you by going and being with somebody else or hanging out with other people. Typically when I hear this story, which is very common when you deal with narcissistic people, I challenge you. I say, are you sure that the narcissist is punishing you by being with somebody else? How do you know that you're not somebody else's punishment? I guess what I'm trying to get you to understand is what makes you think that you're the special one in the relationship with the narcissist, what makes you think you're the special one in their life and that they're mad at you and punishing you with somebody else when the reality is, is you're just another person in their carousel, if you will, to where they're, when they're not love bombing somebody else, they're love bombing you. Do you see what I'm saying? Oftentimes we talk about the narcissist carousel of people. They always have somebody to go to. Another way to look at this, a crude way, if you will, to look at this is that in the narcissist's life, it's like they're driving down the street and they have prostitutes that they go to on different corners of their shady life. You happen to have become one of them. And so they pick you up by love bombing you. They offer you something fantastic, a dinner, a movie, a trip somewhere. Maybe they'll buy you a purse, who knows? Get what they want from you and then create the fight and then leave you, which is them saying this is all it was. It's the equivalent of driving and picking you up, paying you, and then dropping you back off. But they want you and they hope that you're gonna stand on that corner so the next time they come around, the next time they flash something your way, money, dinner, a trip, a good time, whatever it is they use to buy you with, they're hoping that you'll still be standing there on the corner. They're prostitute, along with the other prostitutes in their life. Now this is a very crude way of saying it, but I don't know how else to drive the point home that this is what it is when you're engaged with somebody who is just using you for their good time, who weasels their way into your life and then creates a problem to tell you that this is all it is and backs out, punishes you by going somewhere else. Basically what they're saying is, I'm going to the other corner of my shady life, okay? Now, I want you to understand something. Narcissists are able, and by the way, this should disgust you. It disgusts me if you think about it this way. And like I said, many of you stay trapped in this because you don't wanna believe it's true. You never in your life thought that you would be a prostitute for somebody because you were raised in a good environment, your parents taught you better, you were brought up in the church. 
yet here you are. It gets even worse when you're dealing with somebody who's, you know, <laughs> in the church with you or whatever. Here's the reality though. Narcissists would not be able to operate this way if the culture and the society that we live in didn't allow it. Narcissists are able to treat people like prostitutes because culture and society has enabled prostitution. And I'm not just talking about people standing on the street corners. I'm talking about the message that's been sent out there to each and every one of us since we were little. The conditioning that those with money and power and wealth and whatever, that's what gets everything. Right now, you can see it all over the place with the alpha. How many of you have heard the thing, the alpha males and this and that? It's all a bunch of bogus nonsense trying to get you to fall into this trap, if you will, of thinking that you could be bought. Hang on one second. Helicopter. This idea that things can be bought, that power and wealth and materialism is really what you, it's what you want in life. And as a result, you and I have fallen into this place in life where we've almost been willing to give anything so we can have a piece of that because we've been told and conditioned to believe that that's what life is all about. What this is, is it gets into the idea of Babylon. How many of you have heard Hopefully you can hear me over that helicopter. How many of you have heard of, of Babylon, right? Babylon was once a place, but it's no longer a place, yet it's mentioned and it's referenced to. It's much like Jezebel. How many of you have heard the spirit of Jezebel? Jezebel was once a real person, but now it refers to a spirit that grips people's lives. Babylon is the same thing. Babylon was once a real place that was destroyed because of its debauchery because of the prostitution of the environment. Babylon has since been used throughout ancient literature, places like the New Testament of the Bible. It was referenced about Rome by Peter. It's mentioned in Revelations, Babylon the Great. And where you see the reference of Babylon, you also see the reference of being a whore, prostitution, as it's mentioned in Revelations. And it's an interesting concept, Babylon, represents a spirit that resides, if you will, over an entire area. Babylon is that changing, if you will, people from the natural desire to work together to do good things, to be equally yoked and to suffer together, and is instead trades that in for this idea to whore yourself, to have the glitz and the glamour that's promised in the world or in the society. A lot of the Western world is built on that. A lot of churches have fallen victim to that as well. Given up the natural, which is, and, and you know, of, of just worshiping God and have bought into the glitz and the glamor. Prostituting. Like I said before, this is not an easy message, but it's a powerful one. It's important that you understand what you're up against, what Babylon is. Listen, I'm here for your support. Down in the description box, you'll find access for one-on-one -on -one appointments with me. In addition to that, I have the New Life Coaching Program where I teach every day, Monday through Friday. Get registered right now. And I'll be back with more videos for you right here on The Royal We. Before I'm back, I encourage you, watch this video right here. YouTube recommends this video. I think you should watch it. All right, I'll be back right here on the Royal We.